nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 98 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And so, I messed up. I know what I did was wrong. What am I going to do about it? The only way to stay cool is to follow the rules. Anyway, my gem signing certificate has been expired since like December of 2021, and it is currently February 23rd, 2023. So, um, and this is a problem. So um, we'll take a look at this. Uh, you kind of, when you're, when you sign a gem, you, you kind of are making a contract that with everybody that you're going to continue to uh, at least the supported version that's of the gem, you're going to continue keeping that certificate current so that people can install the gem. And let's see what the problem is here. So even with medium security, if I try to gem install nerd dice from Ruby gems, and this is normal, like medium security. Oh, it's going to... Gonna make a liar out of me. Gem uninstall. Alright, so we're gonna go back here. Maybe if I go out one just to make sure. No, it's still working. So it's not as bad as I thought it was, but if I try to do it, dash P high security, you can see that it errors out. Gem security exception, certificate not valid after December 6th, 2021 so that's our problem so what we're going to do is try to resolve this problem by generating a new certificate and adding the public portion of that certificate to our repo so we'll do a gem uninstall not install okay so now uh, what we need to do is um, I've got probably in my uh, SSH directory. Let me just pause and make sure that I don't have anything troublesome in there before I share it on video. So we're good. There isn't really anything unsafe by listing the contents of this directory. I've got a um, gem public key, gem private key, and then like my my normal users ID and R, IDRSA um, keys there. So um, what I'm going to do is we're going to we'll do make der dash p here. We'll call this 2020 12, and then we're going to. move the existing things there. So now we're gonna go back to Nerd Dice and the publishing your gem and security here. So it tells you how to um, sign your items here. So I guess I need to go back to uh, my SSH directory and the email will be um, the email of our gem spec those need to match so uh, if we go into our gem spec gem 
this back. The public email for this is statelesscode at gmail.com. If I go and go back to the SSH directory, and then our command will be gem cert dash dash build, and then the email. Okay, I'll pause and write a pass phrase from a private key just in case somebody's got really good ears and can figure out from all my videos which keys I'm pressing. All right, I'm back. So you know it's um, the items here. So we're going to change the at least the private key. if I type it correctly. So now we've got that there and we're going to, um, you can see here, we already, we've already made the directory for certs. So it's going to be a, uh, a copy and paste into that same directory and overwrite what we've got in the gem already added the cert uh, to the to the gem spec so in this case it's going to be gem public cert and it will go into certs and it'll go to that file there now if we go back to our repo here I should probably change the um, go onto a branch here Status, make sure that nothing odd has happened with either of those things. I think we're good there. Now we want to build the gem and test that we can install it. So We will at least temporarily build this gem. We'll um, potentially, well, let's see here. Yeah, because I still need to update the change log uh, before I actually do my real build, but um, we'll do the build here. Oh. gem spec pause and do my passphrase here and after I hit it it says that we've successfully built so the the master branch of this is on 0 0.5.0 which we probably will release um, in our next video along with the patch versions of the other ones because we are um, getting rid of Ruby 2.7 um, and that that's really not a um, a 0.4.x type of thing that's a breaking change so you want to bump if you're at least under version one which we still are uh, bump the minor version when you do something like that so now I should be able to I need to add my own cert here gem 
insert add. Now I should be able to gem install. security. Oh, but I cannot. Checksum does not match root certificate checksum. Let's see. Insert. Maybe there's an update command. So this is the Ruby Gems documentation here. Okay, update. gem update dash dash system I might need to regenerate my certificate here, potentially. While that is installing, I'm just going to pause and take a look at make sure I'm, um, I'm solving this correctly. All right, so our update system has worked. Let's see if Still failing here. Trusted root certificate checksum does not. I wonder if we can untrust. Let me see if we can get reset hard head gem insert remove. Copy that back. Insert add. Added. Okay. So now. We're good. So that's what you need to do, at least on your old system, or if you have an old version of um, 
nerd dice that you trusted the cert the old certificate on and you need to update and you're using high security as your policy you would need to remove the old um the old cert there before you install with the new cert so we're going to do gem uninstall for now all right so we've successfully uninstalled it uh, so now we should be able to rest easy we'll temporarily remove the version of the gem that we built git add status git commit this is an important one to sign so I'll pause and uh, write my commit message all right I've got my commit message here and I'll close it and actually I think I want to make one more change here so in the security item here uh, I put end of life as February 14th um, 2024 uh, I'm going to modify that to February 23rd since that is the date this gem is being signed here and I think I'm also going to life 0.4 which is essentially identical to um, to 0 0.5 except for the fact that it has the support for Ruby two point seven which we're dropping so change there make version 0 0.5 the current there let me double check that I'm I've got this yeah I think that is correct for all of this so we'll save that I will get Now I should be able to get status and we will get push the origin, start the pull request process as we are working on this. I'm going to also add the bug tag. This is obviously, a, it, even though nothing has occurred other than time to cause it to be a bug, it's certainly a, um, a bug um, in terms of affecting the ability to use the gem with high security. So uh, while our build is running, we will open a pull request into master. copy this so that it's available in either place for people who are looking
resolution. Pull request. All right, so that has passed. You just quickly edit. Cancel the edit back in here. There we go. Now can go into the master branch. Get merge our branch here. And then we can push get branch, delete the old branch. Why did this get? See, sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. So that, that's odd how that how that occurs. Uh, so usually I have to go in, and you can see in the videos I merge the pull request, and then the um, I have to go in and modify the issue itself. Anyway, we are, I think, ready to release this. Um, the I'm, actually, I'm gonna add a separate item to update the change log because I anticipate that the the release itself and one of my improvement items. Uh, self-improvement items is to try to only cover one topic per video. So um, I think doing the change log and the release in the uh, the same video would be um, violating that. Um, try to get it smaller. If it's a five minute video, it's a five minute video. Um, That will be my next video is to update the change log before releasing. Uh, and then the, um, the video after that is when we'll actually do the releases of now five versions of this gem. So we'll see you in the next video to do that. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.